guys, my name is Mike and welcome back to AXC Garage, a channel that's built for today's Acuras, Hondas and all the classics. Talking about classics, we are back with our EK9 Civic Type R build project. On the last episode, you saw us went ahead to refresh the engine bay and it came out fantastic. And on today's episode, we'll be refreshing the exterior of the car and the first thing on the list are the Civic Type R headlights. The car is about 20 years old, these are original headlights, so they start to show age, the plastic lens start to turn yellow, and the first thought we have was, well, why don't we do a complete headlight restoration, but when we click a closer look to the headlights, as you can see here, you can start seeing some fine scratches and cracks on the inside of the plastic lens. Our solution, a brand new set of JDM Civic Type R headlights. Let's go ahead and get them open. Guys, what's better than factory OEM parts, especially parts directly from Japan. I love the CTR headlights because of the black chrome housing in the back and also the little city lights right there. Uh, let's go ahead and get the old headlights off. Guys, let's take a look at new headlights and old headlights. When you put them side by side, you can really tell the huge difference between the two. And let's take a look at the other side of the headlights. And look over here, look like someone actually put some JB Weld and try to weld this bracket back together. And the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and swap out these connectors and the grommets and the light bulbs, and it should be good to go.
So we're just about to get this light bulb back in the headlights and guess what we found? One of the um, light bulb, the coating start to come apart. And last thing we want to do is some of these coating falling inside the headlights. And also the other light bulb, over time, it just start to uh, discolor. So what we have here, we have two brand new light bulbs. So when you turn it on, you can be nice and amber. Guys, these headlights look amazing and complement so well in this car and it completely transformed the entire front end and we're not even done yet. Let's go to the second item on the list. Guys, the car is completely dense free. Every single panel is completely straight. No more dent anywhere around this car. Kyle from CarMag definitely did an amazing job getting all these dents out. So let's go ahead and get the original door panel back together so we can move on to the next item.
guys, up next we have a pair of brand new OEM clear fender lights. The original ones are amber. And the replacement one right now, what we have is clear. I think it's gonna look really nice along with those brand new headlights we just put in. The two that I'm gonna use is this 90 degree pick. There's a little slot right over here on the left side of the light. Go through here with the pick, push it, it release the clip, then pull right out, just like that. Disconnect the connector. And we should be good to go with the new light. But before we do so, we wanna go ahead and get this cleaned up. Well, the fender is nice and clean now. All we have to do is grab the connectors, plug it in, slide in, and boom, just like that. Both fender lights are done. Last move on to the NYX. The emblem, take a look at this emblem, all faded. Front and back, we're gonna get them done. Let's take a look at the bench. Both brand new, factory emblem. And also we got some uh, fishing wire, a buffer, and eraser wheels to get all the uh, double-sided tape off. Should be a pretty easy task. But the perfect tool to remove the emblem safely out of the paint is this fishing line because behind the emblem is a bunch of double-sided tape. With the fishing line, you can get it perfectly. And just like that, the front emblem came out without damaging any paint behind the emblem. So the next thing we're gonna do is get an eraser wheel and get all this double-sided tape and glue cleaned up. Guys, take a look at the brand new red emblem. It definitely finished off the entire front end and compared to the old one, what a huge difference. Let's go ahead and get the back one done. So last but not least, we are going to work on the EK9's spoiler in the back. So as you can see right over here, the base of the spoiler is not color like the wing itself. It is like a trim paint. But over time, as you can see, it's already all faded. 
compared to the roof molding it is a huge difference and become an eyesore so we are going to go ahead and get the spoiler removed then we can separate the base from the spoiler then we go ahead and take it to the paint shop get some SEM paint on it it's gonna look real nice just like the roof molding Take a closer look on the base and the spoiler. As you can see, it's completely faded as we said before. Uh, definitely could use a nice coat of SEM paint. So now we need to separate the base from the spoiler. Just a couple of nuts on this side it should come right out. And I think it'll be a great opportunity for us to wax and clean up the, um, the bottom of the wing. just got a spoiler base back from Brian at Paint Society and the finish is amazing very very OEM like finish and we already got our wings nice and polished all we have to do put them back together and get it back on the car
the exterior finish definitely bring back the classic beauty on this EK9 Civic Type R. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel. On the next video, we'll be working on the interior, doing a couple of refresh and also repair, so you don't want to miss. As always, thank you so much for watching our channel. We hope to see you guys on the next one.